Yeah, good, good evening, class. Last section, or live class, last um, workshop, we start in this process modeling, and I requested you people to replicate these three activities. And I say you should watch a movie on Draw the Tayudao so that you can, um, from YouTube, I share the video so we can help you people to learn how to do this. It's an assignment. And when someone is giving an assignment for you to try out something, <laughs> that is the easiest way to learn. Trying to learn something you don't know before on your own, not waiting to be taught. But if you people choose to be streaming, to just for me to be streaming for you to watch, and that's it, good and fine. I will do that. And when the time goes, let nobody say that uh, this and that. But I, I employ the best way for you people to learn this, uh, this trade. Because I call it a three, it's, it's a technique you need to learn, and you need to learn from variety of hand, not only me, for you to understand how it works. But as you don't do it, let's. I was hoping we we'll just review what you guys have done and then we we'll move to root cause analysis. But we'll go back to that place. But that's not. Uh, it's not fair because we are all of us here are adults. When I say do something, you should be able to to do it. I don't like raising my voice because all of you are adults. If like they are youngsters, I know what to do. I have done two out of the three drawings, but I don't see anywhere to say that I should. Really submit the assignment in the program. But I asked, did they, I said, did anybody watch it and nobody said anything? Sorry, I went offline then. Mm -hmm. Where do I submit the assignment? Sir? Um, I was going to just leave it for now because I want you people to learn it first before I just say watch it first before the assignment comes up. I was preparing you for the assignment, but if you have done it, good and fine. When the assignment is out, you, all you just need to do is submit your own. But for those who didn't want to to, to watch the video there was let's go and do it and you know, when I say watch it though it doesn't mean that I don't know how to do it I just want you want you to learn from another source so what we are going to be doing is uh we are going to use draw.io to create a process map. So I want you to be able to, because as a business analyst, this is what you have to be in on a daily basis. I, for me, I do draw, I, I, I draw up to two to three process map on daily basis. Even today, I, I draw two maps because everything you do, you need to, use a diagram to drive your point to as a business analyst so it is, it's not something you can run away whether you like it or not only if you you don't want to be part of this so let's go to draw.io let's go to
Sorry, guys. My whole, my internet stripped off. Hello. Hello. Yeah, my Hello. my internet tripped off. So, but I'm back now. Sorry about that. It's okay. Okay, so we are now in um, trying to get brother Tayo. Okay, once you are presented with a screen like this, if you have an existing work, you can open your existing work, or if you don't, then you go to a new diagram. That's what we're going to do. You can start from blank template, which is a very clean canvas, or you can use an existing template. So we want to be very fast, so we, can, so we have to use existing templates and what we are going to use to do this is a swim lane swim lane is a will help you to to navigate from one unit or from one department or from one application to another so see how your, your, your process is moving from one department or from one process to another, or your data may be moving from one, one application to another application. That's the essence of using swim lane. So this is a, a swim lane. We're going to clean up this swim lane. So let me show us what we're going to do again. So we have a picture of what we are meant to, to do. This is a, <clears throat> a picture of what we are going to create in our diagram. So let's go back just for you to see what we are working on.
So <clears throat> in our first swim lane, what we have is um, the customer. So in our second swim lane, we have help desk officer. So in our once uh, if you want to create another lane, all you need is uh, you click on the the lane, you right click and you duplicate. That's how you do it. Now we have um, here. land lord okay we still need more swim lane because we have um i need to duplicate to get another swim lane so we also have, um, here is a, um, it can be technician or plumber. Let me use plumber. Then we have spore man. So these are the, <clears throat> all the actors in this uh, process, all the people that participate in this uh, process. And the process here is uh, to capture the customer complaint process. Or incident risk, how incident management. So now the first thing here is that the customer may complain. So we need to start. To start, we need to use this ellipse shape and we drag it and brought it in here and we call it start that's where we start our process so the first thing is that the customer needs to identify that there is a situation in the house and identify 
the faulty boiler. So that is the first thing the customer need to. So what do we do? We add a process. This process is within customer area. Create your room. So So the first thing here is um, for customer to identify and report incidents. And then the incident will be reported to the help desk. That's the second process here. Second is um, receive and log uh, 
and uh, contact land load. That is the second process. Then the third process is the landlord here receive The landlord here received the um, the reports. Then landlord review the reports. So landlord send approval Landlord send approval and help desk receive the approval. Now the help desk will then send the reports or contact the plumber.
plumber receives the notice We need to expand our canvas because our work is getting longer and longer. So you can see I highlighted the whole this in and from here I will expand. So the plumber. The plumber goes for site visitation, site visitation to find out what is wrong with the boiler. And after that, some plumber find out what is wrong and then plumber then goes to the store to visit the store man for his papers to fix the boiler. Now, plumber plumber now need to go back to fix the forty. Boiler. We'll keep on expanding our canvas. Then plumber conducts a functional test. After fixing 
to make sure that it's functional. Functional test. And then it's working again. So, so plumber then have to go back to report to the office that he has finished his work. So the help desk from Lumber. Keep expanding and then then the the help desk creates a paper work for the job and then I need to create a paper work to document so that the plumber can be paid so now you need to contact the customer back. This is time for the help desk to contact the customer for verification. And then the and the confirm the work. And that is the end of the process.
Anyway, so that is the, the process here. This is um, the long process. And So that is our process. And um, and and so we've created the the process here. Because once you've gone as a business analyst, when you do your requirement gathering, when there is a problem, you go, you've, you've gone, for instance, you are just being hired to help them solve this problem. So you have to find out who is in charge of this process. You find out that is the help desk that is in charge. As you see, collect information from customer and um, all these things is part of us. So you, when you go to the help desk, you ask a question, how do you people do this? And it will tell you sequence of how they do it. And you, that's how you collect all these requirements. When you collect these requirements, you have to document it in this way. When you go to the management, you tell the management, this is what, this is your, finding of the current process that is having a problem. You can't do anything without documenting the current process. So this is a process of documentation. You are documenting the, the, the current process using process map. So if you map out the current process, that is the assist. So what do you do now? Let me call it here. Assist. As is process. So now we have our SIS process, and then the next thing to do is. We have to be looking at conducting our gap analysis within this current process. Copy it and add another page or another sheet and I'll paste it. So this is where we're going to perform our gap analysis. So. We'll call it here gap analysis. So now we'll find out our current process. This is the current process. This is where we'll do our work as BAs. So what do we do? We need to find out the process out of all these processes that doesn't really give 
much value or doesn't give value. So that we can use that to reduce waste. And looking at all these processes, they are all valuable processes. Except that we have contacted, we have reached an agreement with landlord to manage the property and we'll still contacting landlord in every little thing in order to, so which I think is a waste of time. So, and here, landlord here will be my first, this thing that doesn't give, so the one that doesn't give value, I'm going to call it a waste and I'm going to put it in red color because it's a waste. So that's my first waste identified. The sale issue of landlord, second waste. Still consigning landlord. Landlord, they are interested in their rent and take good care of their house. So, and will have the capacity to do that. There's no need of disturbing them. So we removed all these processes. So after our gap analysis, this is the gap we've identified within this process. And what we use to do this is what we call lean methodology. Lean methodology is a process of uh, waste reduction in an organization. You know, when you talk about waste, we're talking about waste of time, waste of resources, waste of anything waste. And this is a waste of time. And what we are trying to is to reduce the time it takes to solve customers' complaint. When we remove this waste, at least if this is taking us one week, the whole process, at least we might be able to save two days, which is a big thing. That is it. That is our gap analysis sorted. Then we need to document our future process, how we want it to be. We copy again using Control C. And again, we come back here. We paste again using Control V. We shrink. So now we've seen uh, what we need to do here is uh, we need to remove the waste in the process. So we've identified it now to remove it to get what we want. So this delete this delete and uh, this will be deleted as well so all the landlord area is uh, deleted so deleted Okay.
So now you can see everything is now looking green because this is now all these um, processes that add value. And that's why we are representing it with green because they are valuable processes. So, and that is, we'll call it, to be process. Or future space. So that is our to be process of future state. And um, That is how we've solved the, we've reduced the amount of time. At least we were able to save them like two days. And that is, that's a lot of, a lot of time in a situation like this. So if we can help organizations saving such time for them, that's a big thing for them it's all about um increasing the sales saving cost of production cost of operation removing waste of time within the is a big thing for organization so that is how we've done we've documented our current process, we've conducted gap analysis, and then we've documented our future process. That is good. And um, that is it. If you have any question, you can take your question. So, but if you don't have any question, we are going to be stopping here tonight. So I'm ready to take your question now. Any question? Hello, good evening, sir. Good evening. Yes, so um, I was looking at the chat and I realized that the plumber just went to the store to collect the spare parts. There was no quote where he had to, they had to deal with a quote and then somebody had to approve it or something. So I'm just saying, is there a clarification I need to know you at that add, junction? You can add the process the way you want it. The, 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 the main purpose of this is to teach you how to do process map, not how to decide how organization runs whether they put quote in your own organization you can decide to put quote but what i'm teaching you is for you to see a process if we start drilling it down every bit and bit we might not live here okay sir thank you sir i figure now thank you all right i have a question please okay on the uh on the to be the future states are you mm -hmm. at liberty seeing that the landlord area within the swim lane is now vacant are you at liberty to delete or you can leave it like that or are you expected to leave it like that if you like you can delete it if you like you can leave it 
you know, it's not that uh, that's just cosmetic. Uh, cosmetic. The main thing is that you remove the waste within the process. So, if you leave landlord area, it doesn't add or remove anything there. So that is it. Thank you. So the, the, the central point here, central focus here is you removing, you reducing waste here. That is what we want to know. After beautifying your map, and like here, which for me is still good, so that even the if you are anybody who does, does not uh, who is visiting the organization, if the person asks question why nothing happening here, you will be able to know that actually this were removed during the waste reduction. So if you want, you can just it's just a click and this will go. But originally we know that something happened here. So there is no need of removing it. So okay, thank you. It helps to tell a story about the work you've done. Yeah. So and if you this is a like I said, this is a like more of a high level. If you want to be, if you want this to be a detailed process map, you find out that the, the help desk here will receive and help desk will send an email. The help desk will then wait for an email. The landlord will read the email. The landlord will wait for two days. Landlord will then reply the email. So, so, but the main thing here is for you to understand when you are when you are working in an organization, you have you understand their process. So it's not like this is not. A, I'm not teaching you like that. This is a standard way of how organization. Whether you visit the 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 plumber, what you and the the storeman, and all those things. The main thing here is that you call gone to the store to pick equipment. It might take, but the, the central focus that you've gone to the store to pick equipment, and whatever you did with the store man is still a value to the street, to the supply chain. What doesn't give value is our activity with landlord because from the beginning we've had, uh, reached agreements with the landlord that. We are handling the, the the property, or if we we, we include incorporate landlord all this process, with it, then we have, we have to go and review our agreement with landlord because it's a waste of time here, as far as I'm concerned, because the 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 company real estate company have the capacity. They have their plumbers, they have everything. And the landlord trusts them. That's why landlords give out their properties for them to manage. If you don't trust them, there is no need. And we know that in property, there is tear and wear. So it must be maintained. At the end of the day, we we'll, we'll bring this in. And the, the, the plumber, the, the, you cannot be maintaining boiler all the time. But when something spoils in boiler, what the landlord will understand. So these are the, the things. So whichever way, take room here is when we are doing, understand how to use gap analysis to fish out gap in a system. This might be um gap in a restaurant it might be gap in a hotel or host um hotel environment it might be gap within production it might be so 
understand how to do this. This is not the only way you can do gap analysis. There are so many other ways, but understand this basic one. And then you will start developing your understanding about uh, gap analysis, process mapping, and the rest of them. As you increase this in your capacity as a business, you will find so many complex process map. You know, so that is uh, the central point. So if you don't have any question, then you've seen how to do it. This thing I've done, I expect you to replicate it. I'm going to give assignment on that very well, maybe tomorrow, this night. I'm not going to do it this night because I'm tired. So but by tomorrow, I should be able to have the assignment for you to do. Whether the assignment is that you know you are going to do, like someone or them, somebody that um, already finished her own waiting for submission. So you can, as soon as the assignment comes out, you can just submit your own. Or if you need to refine your work, good and fine. So, if you don't have any question, I think we've um, we've done something tonight. Yeah, this is what we should. Well, I wanted us to do tonight, but you people refuse to follow my instruction. So I'll manage you people like adults by ignoring you guys. Sorry. Yeah. So good night, everyone. Good night, sir. Yeah. Good night. Good night, sir.